Hi, today we are going to learn square of any number. Let's see the first question, 37 square. First let us find out what is 3 square. What is 3 square? 9. What is 7 square? 49. So this 3 square, just write this 3 square is, is 9, this 7 square is 49. Just write it down. So 9 and 49. Okay. Now I have found out A square, I have found out B square. So what is the next thing I need? 2AB. So 3 times 7 times 2. What is 3 times 7 times 2? 3 into 7, 21. 21 into 2, 42. Either I can write 2 into 3 into 7 or 3 times 7 times 2. Both are same. So 42. Now what we have found in the previous slide? 9 and 49. 3 square is 9, 7 square is 49. 49. Now just below 9 put an X mark. Why? Because that 9 hereafter won't change. Only in the first line we are getting 9. Hereafter that 9 won't change. Once digit will not change. Now write 42 very close. Once you add this up, what you will what you will be getting is 1369. So how we got this answer? 37 square as 1369. We use the method algebra a plus b whole square. We took a as 3, b as 7. Let's move on to the next question. So 37 square equal to 1369. What is 48 square? a equal to 4 b equal to 8. So what is 4 square? 16. What is 8 square? 64. So once you write this 16 and 64 just next to each other. What is the next thing I needed? I have got a square. I have found b square. So next thing needed is 2ab. 4 into 8 into 2 or 2 into 4 into 8. Both are same. So 4 into 8 32. 32 times 2 is 64. So 16 and 64 that is 4 square and 8 square I have written there. The next 64 should be written like this because near to the x there should not be any gap. So once I add up what I will be getting is 2304, 2304. So 48 square is 2304. Shall we go to the next slide? What is 69 square? 6 square is 36, 9 square is 81. Just write 36 and 81 next to each other. Okay. Now, what is 6 times 9 times 2? 6 times 9 is 54. 54 times 2 is 108. Now, 3, 6, 8, 1. Now, write this 108 x. Okay. Because that below 1, you have to write x. And now, once you add up, what you will be getting is 4761. So what you understand from this slide is 69 square is 4761. So how much time do you think it will take? Surely now at the beginning it may take 5 to 15 seconds. But once you practice this question can be done less than 5 seconds. 74 square. What is 7 square? 49. What is 4 square? 16. So just write 49 and 16 next to each other. Okay. Then next what is the next one we need? 7 times 4 times 2. What is 7 times 4 times 2? 7 into 4 28. 28 into 2 56. Now 7 square 49. 4 square 16. And this 56x. Where shall I write this 56x? Either this side or here or here 56. This below 6 I have to put x. Yes very good. Very close to x I have write 56 without leaving any gap between 56 and x. So once I add this. So I will be getting 5476. Simple, clear? Yes, 5476 is the answer for 74 square. What is 86 square? 8 square is 64. 6 square is 36. 6436. So what I need is 8 times 6 times 2 that is 2AB. I have got 8 square that is 64. I have found 6 square 36. So A square is available, B square is also available, I need 2AB. The 2AB is 96. So I should write it as 96X. So once I add this up, so what will be my answer? 7396. So 86 square equal to 7396. Okay, simple right? Is this applicable when you go for a 3 digit number or a 4 digit number? Yes, let's try for this question. 127 whole square. Hopefully this should be the last... Uh, uh, question for this slide 127 square I can write it as 12 plus 7 whole square or even I can write as 1 plus 27 whole square Why I have taken 12 plus 7 whole square because I know 12 square I know 
7 square. So just I am writing as a plus b whole square. What is a plus b whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here a equal to 2, a equal to 12, b equal to 7. So we need 12 plus 7 whole square. So what is 12 square? 144. What is 7 square? 49. So just write 144 and 49 next to each other. Now what we need? 2 times 12 times 7 or 12 times 7 times 2. What is 12 times 7 times 2? 12 times 7 times 2. What is 12 into 7 into 2? That is 84. 84 into 2, 168. Just write it down and then when you add, add it up, so what will be getting the answer? 16129. So I hope you would have enjoyed this video. Okay, kindly do remember to subscribe this video. Okay, thanks for watching this video.